previously on the season. We wanted to open ourselves up to you guys and bring you into our program. There's one or two of you starting to drop your heads because you don't like what you're going through. The boys love it. The, the music is always very stirring. It's all part of an afternoon at BBC on Miskin. I knew we needed that hard edge. We needed to be ruthless and we needed to be the hardest working team in the comp. Pots here. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, you can't talk. <laughs> These calves used to be massive, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make sure tomorrow we rock up. We've got two really important sessions where we'll probably sort of refresh and add a bit more content. No team's ever won an outright premiership at BBC. So it's pretty easy comparison. You know, if you're at another school where they've won multiple premierships, well, how do you compare? Okay, we can become the first ever team to win a, an outright premiership. So that is big. And we've chosen to address this this year, um, to talk about winning, to talk about this. From a personal point of view, and what I take seriously, better men. Yes, we're first 15 coaches. Yes, we're trying to win. Okay, but we also take this seriously around playing our little part in your lives to go out and be better men. Gibbe, so you're all super positive. Gibbe, chuck your arm out. Stop me from pushing it down. This is probably last camp. There's some negative thoughts. There's your symbol of negativity. Chuck your arm out again. That wasn't a stitch up. But that is the power of negativity, both individually and collectively. We need to make sure that you know, we continue building on that trust, cohesion, and mateship, brotherhood, particularly throughout this camp. And then come next week, we take it into uh, first game. Win or lose, we enjoy it together, and we enjoy the season. The goals of that camp were to build a team, so the culture as well as the technical aspects of, of the team. So attack, defence, um, all the structures they're going to take us through the rest of the season. On my whistle, you're sprinting back. To all it is is eight minutes of work each station. Put in that max effort and then you'll get a bit of a rest. From a cultural perspective, really trying to uh, build a team, team building activities. Some of them were quite difficult, but that shared experience will bring the team to closer together and the boys closer together. Go! We're going in five, I'm changing the time for you guys. Three, two, go, flat out. Oh, I think this preseason was really a huge focus on winning. And the idea that, you know, we want to be the, the best team in BBC history. This was really about creating history and creating something special. Have you got money on your Berkey? Uh, yeah, in my bag over there. Have you got a $20 note? I think so. Can I borrow that and give you that back later? Shane Drum knows that to build a legacy, you need support. It's got to, you got to hit it on the full. Okay, that's a minute. You've got two minutes to go. Yeah, that's good. You got and it's gone for the best in the business. Nah, have a look at the skill of these blokes, eh? 30 seconds, kick for cash. If no one gets it, everyone has to give me 20 bucks. That's the right height, exactly the right height. Two, one, all right, my money's safe. Todd Okefu is just a wonderful human being, has a wonderful playing record, is one of the great Wallaby number eights, but just has a real sense of calmness, a real ability to get a message across. My role with the forward pack is, uh, is a line out. What I wanted to get through initially was a basic understanding around how to win line outs simply. Yeah, good, 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 good attack. Come on, defence, we should have got up there. Yeah, good, 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 that's it. I know a lot of coaches complicate things where I just wanted to show guys that, look, we can win line outs this way, guys. All we need to do is put in a little effort in terms of speed and height. Great defence. Bring it in. Real simple. Seven minutes. We're tired now, fatigued. This is where it counts. OK, we've got the first game next week. Scrum on the 15 here. Let's go. Line out, left side. Within rugby circles, there is a saying, why have one, Kefu? when you can have two. Shane got on to me um, early this year, and gave me 
some comfort in things that I, I would be given. My main role was defence this year. I'm normally an attack coach, but uh, if, you, if you know attack, you know defence. It works hand in hand. Steve Kefu has been a wonderful addition um, to our coaching group this year. Steve brings a passion that is very evident in the way that he talks and the way that he runs his sessions, and that's contagious. The boys pick up on it, the rest of the coaches pick up on it. Rooted. Today was a really good session, okay? We put pressure on you. Some of us are getting a little bit frustrated. Stick together, it was good, we finished strong. I put pressure on you at training, so when we come to the game, we're sweet with it, yeah? We've been in that situation before. From your perspective, give us a talk through turn two. Uh, I think it's been going pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of changes with myself, I guess. Uh, just trying to help everyone out and help the team. In terms of your footy on the field? I think there's still a lot of things I need to improve on. Yeah, I think that's one of your strengths. I think that you bring to the team is your ball carry leadership and your physicality. You should be happy where you come. Mate, it's one of, to be honest, it's one of my proudest moments is naming your vice captain, you know, after last 12 months. Okay. Aligned with the newly formed culture comes transparency, and player interviews are conducted to engage honestly with all squad members, from the three-year veteran to the fringe first-teamer who just needs a break. Stuff on it yesterday and like test it out a bit just by hitting it, it was still pretty tender. And mate, to be honest, the fact that you've had to sit out four or five weeks mm. pre-season and yet you still turn up and you're still positive and you're still helping out with water and all that sort of stuff, I mean, that's team culture, isn't it, hey? So that's a credit to you, the way that you're still contributing to our group. Um, any questions you've got of us, or? Um, me being injured, is that going to affect, like, me being into, like, being into, be able to go into a run-on team? If you get busted again, because mm. we've sent you back in too early, what you can control is keep doing all that stuff. Well, obviously, like, 10 is my preferred position. I'm not going to sulk and whinge. If I don't get it, I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But yeah, like what I do see for me in 10 is I know, I know how to use the likes of Howarth and Lucas, those two type of players, to benefit them. Obviously it's out of my hands, but if I, if I did have a shot with those, those two in the centres, um, I reckon it could improve dramatically. How are you feeling for this weekend? I'm like excited but nervous, hey. Because when you think about it, year 12, this will be our last ever sort of trial game. Yeah. Crazy, hey. The big games at the later end of the season, eh? So we versus this round, what, six? Round six, and then Toowoomba, and then we play Naji. Holy heck. At Naji. On the Ross. Yeah. We haven't lost there though, hey? Like our age group. Oh no, we haven't. Who do you reckon's gonna be harder this year, TSS or Najee? Najee. No, TSS. You reckon? TSS for sure, yeah. Yeah, we haven't versed them yet, eh? What's it? I'm pretty sure TSS <coughs> beat Najee. Did they? In a trial game, yeah. Plus, when we were playing Najee, like, we were all over them. Like, and we, we had half of our backline out. Yeah, I know. No, we had heaps of people out there. Yeah. And it was their first game, and, like, they've played yeah. together for ages. Bit, yeah. Definitely have to go game by game, eh? Because. Yeah. You lose one game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon we can win this year? Yes, we got this. Surely. I hope so. Surely. With camp coming to an end, round ball recovery is scheduled. As rest is prioritised in anticipation of the sudden death season, kicking off in seven days' time. It's a short season, but it's probably the hardest um, competition I've ever done because it's just eight grand finals in a row. It's more just getting used to the feeling of putting yourself under fatigue. You're not allowed to flinch. So if we pull you out, you come back and you start your sit up. Step. 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 Stop there, stop. Jacob Lucas on Matt. If the foundation for success is built in the pre-season, then BBC will create waves in this year's competition. But preparation does not translate to victory, and there are no guarantees in sport.
Hard run off here, boys. Lucas, look left, look left! To close out the pre-season, a three-way trial has been organised against BBC's first opponents, Churchy, and the competition dark horse, Ipswich Grammar. Let's get him up here! Just then we had a three-on-one overlap when we, yeah. do, when we just scored there. Like, we could have taken it wide and scored every day of the week. Right. Just make sure we're looking up and take, keep talking. Boys, if, if a play's not on, it's not on. Just hold it, go to ground, all right? Big scrum here, forwards! On you, Brad, ready, Brad? Wacky, wacky! There's meant to be two people over there. Boys, communication is key here, boys. All we need to do is just keep talking to each other. Yeah. Brad, you need to make sure people are on this side when they're coming back this way, all right? Bo Westcott continues to consistently provide his team with the level of support off-field that he is unable to provide on-field. No headgears getting up! Yeah, shot you, Bo! Yeah, good job. Good work, good work. Keep it up, eh? Yeah, great shoe, Mason. See, told you you need practice. <laughs> oh, Taj, you need to make sure you look up because just then we had like a three on one. Yeah, all good, all good. Make sure you relay it through them all, yeah? It's a scrappy performance, but the poor rehearsal is easily remedied, and the team will soon have greater concerns. I'll go find the table. Just tell me what you want. Isn't it just all the same? Do you reckon he wants this? Yeah, stitch him up, just give him whatever. Yeah, just get him veg. Starting fly half Connor Claridge has to rely on his teammates for his dinner selection. Injury has struck again. How long are you out for? Don't know. Maybe four weeks. Maybe longer. Depends. Gotta go see the specialist tomorrow morning. About it all. So yeah. How'd you even hurt your ankle? I don't know. Sort of like happened pretty fast, but just running through our back plays sort of thing. Doing our last one, and and then I just stood on someone's foot and sort of fell over the top of it and yeah, just rolled it bad. And I felt and heard like a pop in there. So I'm just sort of praying that it's not as bad as we think. Were you nervous, your first assembly speech? No, I was nervous, definitely. Just a five minute speech? <laughs> I, I knew you were joking. I knew you were a good bloke, you wouldn't do that. Lost Connor Claridge. Yeah, Stephen was telling me. Yeah, which is disappointing. But... Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. He was going to be a starting five eight. Yeah. yeah. At least it's we've got finished. Mason to step in, yeah. so there wasn't a lot between them anyway, so yeah. I had a chat to him last night and just How's spoke good? about the injury for. 30 seconds and then the rest of it was, let's turn it into a positive. Just got a little reading. Have you? Yeah, just the Bible reading. Oh, don't yeah, stuff it up. I know. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. Well, look how many kids there are. You don't want to stuff it up and parents over there. It's all good. It's two lines. You don't have to say anything, do you? You just nah. shake the hands. I'd hate to be saying something in front of all these like you. But <laughs> How's Connor? He's all right. I think he's here somewhere. He was at school today, so... Living and eternal God, we thank you so much for the new beginning that we share in for Term 3 2019. We ask your blessing to be upon each person as we seek to give of ourselves. And we pray that in Christ's name. Amen. Uh, staff, family members, students, it's always a great privilege to be together as we are preparing for our first competitive round of competition in Term 3. I would like to encourage the culture that has been in place, that you play, you stay and you support the first 15 with a 2.15 kickoff. We're putting our hope and energy into what I believe is the hardest working and the best prepared first 15 in my time at the college. This group will land on the moon this season. Jersey number one, Andrew Romano. Jersey two, James Durheim. Our first 15 co-vice captain and vice captain of our rugby program, Jersey 12, Lucas Ripley. Our first 15 captain and captain of rugby for 2019, Jersey number five, Jacob Blyton. 
Gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the whole effort, the whole brotherhood, as they take on the task starting tomorrow. <laughs> I reckon they look cool though. They look way cooler. The, the goal is hopefully the pants of this collar. I just hope it's tight. We're gonna kill everyone. <laughs> Put it on, mate. <laughs> Put it on, mate. I just hope it's not baggy ass. Yes. We'll oh, cheers. Thanks, buddy. You stand on that side. Even the man of the hour isn't immune to the rigours of a contact sport. It's pretty sore. Can they do anything? Like, can they just tape it or strap it? Or? Yeah, they'll put some padding on it, but it would just be sore to play in. But I'm still going to play. Kicking myself for days around Connor. We did one extra move. No, it's not your, no one's fault. That's footy. It is. Sorry, Drami, my mum wants me to grab a photo with oh, you. Oh, no, you want to. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You want it, don't no, you? No, no. <laughs> stay down there, too. Stay, I'll stay down here. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, mate. Is it actually hurting, or? What? Your shoulder. No, I, it's, I just need to rest it. Yeah, Make sure it gets to 100%. Don't want to play at 85%. Yeah. Feel bad for Connor, though, eh? Oh. 15 minutes to go in the training, he rolls his ankle. Pretty like, badly. Yeah. Biggest kick shot. It's gone, so hopefully he'll be back soon. Yeah, hopefully he'll actually get to play. Yeah. I really want him to. When are you back? Yeah. <laughs> nah, no, I'll play round five. R R round five? Yeah. I thought it was round. I thought it was meant to be, to be two weeks ago. Yeah, it was meant to be two weeks ago, and then it changed to round three, and then from round three, it's to round five. Oh, I'm just doing like light jogs at the moment. One day to go, seven injured. The casualties of a rugby war have begun. It's going to be quiet on the bus, but everybody have headphones in. The structure of the GPS season allows for very little room for error. A first up defeat can cost you a title, so the aim needs to be clear. Obviously to get off to a good start, um, we all know that things weren't going to go right because it was our first game, proper game together. Like any game really at first 15 level, I'm always nervous. At this age group, 16, 17, 18, you don't know how the boys are going to rock up and you know, game one is always pretty nervy. We lost to them after Churchy the week before in the trial. Just for the younger boys that play in the first game of first 15, it's, it was a big, big thing for them and they were nervous and me playing three years of it, be able to talk to them and yeah, get them in the right mindset. You're nervous, mate. <laughs> Who's Anna? <laughs> nervous? <laughs> Not yet. He's nervous. You'll be right, mate. Just one thing on our defence, we're a rush defence. Yep, so oh, no worries. Be aware of that. I think as long as you um We've got good ARs today and we're calmed up as well. Oh, they're calmed. Awesome. Yep, yep. So as long as they, like, they go on the nine, go on the ball. No yeah, they got to go yeah, on the bus. Yep. But last week they went. Oh, you can just be aware oh, of that. Oh, yeah. Injury has played a role in selection, but Shane Drum has also decided to roll the dice on a few positions. And we brought a guy in um, to the starting team who had been with us for about two days in the whole pre-season. We had Jack Howarth coming back from the rugby league tournament, so it was very nervy. We had to get on top early, take it to them, and you know, essentially just go out and bash them. Good. Positive energy, okay? Yeah. okay. The more you convince yourself you're tired, the tighter you'll get. Nobody outside of our group believes that you guys can do it. Let's prove everyone wrong, okay? And show them that you're first class. Okay, so we want to keep them under the pump, put them under the pump and then keep them under the pump. We need desperation. We just keep that patience. The more we have ball in our hands, the better we'll be in their face all day. 15 desperate guys, okay? How you feeling, Mason? Yeah, I'm ready. Good, you should yeah. be. Yeah. You look good. Let's be dominant. Be aggressive with that calling. The way we've bonded has been outstanding. Now we've got to go and take it out on the field, first game.
Yes! Lucky, well, let's go. And again, Jimmy, good ball, good ball! Let's go, Helen! Oh, let's go here, we're on here. Give that help. Give it! Just get on, tell them patience now. Patience, not, not now, not now. Just go down there, patience, patience. First game nerves can often produce an excess of adrenaline and the temptation to do too much too soon must be resisted. BBC is leading the way in terms of position and territory, but the points are slow to come. Yeah, right. Why would we call a scrum? Potsy. What have we called a scrum? What did you want there, like a backsball? Line out. Oh, right. Number eight and co-vice captain George Gibson doesn't need a line-out. He just needs the ball. Chloe, we need to be more patient. So have a quiet word to Howie. Be patient with the ball, recycle it. But tell all of them, patience. Yeah. All right, boys. Boys, all we need, we need to be really patient when we're in their half, boys. We need to just hold on to the ball because we can only score with the ball, all right? Yeah. Jack Bowen Boyer is delivering messages from the coach and nothing is getting lost in translation. Sometimes you got to say how it is, I guess, to some of the boys and to get it to them, but yeah, what drama is and he does that right, I guess. <laughs> so we can't be having loose carries looking for offloads when it's never really on. So we've got to build continuity. We've got to be patient. Two of the coaching team's gambles are paying off. Zach Hoff, plucked from obscurity, is carving up the meters, while replacement fly half Mason Gordon has the ball on the string. Yeah, nice. Tell Howie he needs to straighten up. Yeah. One to get. One more to get. Drummy. Good, good half. Good half. Drummy. Kick it, come on. Oh. Go, two minutes. Let's go. Obviously the game's going to change now. They've got the wind, okay, they struggle to get out of their half. It's so important, let's get our confidence back. Let's, let's be smart, get our rhythm back, get our timing. Great effort, boys. Let's First let's 10 minutes, Jake. Let's go! One, two, three, go! Five, five, six, go! Next time on The Season. Do I have to work this out or the, can the computer do it for me? <laughs> That's like a chance for us to show the boys how loud we can be when we're all there and we're all in. I think we've pretty much achieved that. Has everyone done everything? Everything, twice through that list. So that's a no. Go, 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 go. Transition, transition. Pass. For more information on Brisbane Boys College, go to bbc.qld.edu.au.